Others a daycare dilemma after her children, she says, were exposed to COVID-19 and had to stay home. Now she is reaching out to iTeam for help. Uh, the iTeam after learning this could mean the loss of a paycheck. iTeam producer Sean Mickey explains. Shaughnessy Bishop is a traveling certified nursing assistant and single mother of two kids. Her kids were exposed to COVID-19 at daycare and have to quarantine for 10 days. When Shaughnessy had to stop working to watch her quarantine children, thank you for calling the New York. She found out she was not eligible for paid leave. I am able to work, but with there being no child care in place for my children, my question was, what is in place for our people? What do we do as far as lost wages? According to the state, only employees who work a regular schedule of 20 or more hours per week are eligible after 26 consecutive weeks of employment can receive paid leave. Shaughnessy started her job only three months ago, not meeting that 26 week requirement. Where's the money? Where's the money to support these families, to support these children, to make sure that, you know, we are covered when we have to quarantine? We reached out to the State Department of Labor and were told people can reach out to their office directly to learn about the best options available for them. We're saying get New York back to work, get people jobs and things like that. People are afraid to work because if things like this come up and play, what are they to do? Well, I'm working with mothers every day who are desperately trying to get back into the workforce. And this is a real problem for them. What's happening is if someone in that classroom tests positive, then, you know, we see that the child is home for up to 10 days. Carol Murphy is the president and CEO of Harvest House, which provides workforce development. Murphy believes the widespread test to stay program will help keep kids in the classroom and parents in the office. If we can do more COVID testing, we could keep more kids in the classroom, more kids in the daycare, and their parents could go back to work. Currently, the Grand Island School District is piloting a test to stay program with tests provided by the Erie County Department of Health through a grant. The county will run the pilot for a month before they consider expanding. For the I-Team, Sean Mickey 7, Eyewitness News. Sean, thank you.